never before this moment and never again after this moment will there be this gathering of souls. And it's all because of you, Alex and Michael. The giraffe and the baby goat. We stand in gratitude and awe for the opportunity to be together for this sacred and joyous occasion. Just paint my face fog lights blinking by. It's been a wonderful start to the weekend. And there's very few occasions when you get this kind of event where you can bring friends in from all parts of your life. One of the great things that can happen in a marriage is, you know, two families coming together and we know it's a little bit cliche, but maybe it's cliche because it's true often. It's certainly true this time. We want to thank the Lewises for welcoming Michael into their family. We've had the privilege to meet your wonderful, wonderful family. I just hope everybody can feel what we're feeling right now. I know what the Lewises are feeling. We feel like the luckiest people on earth. Thank you to all our friends, family, and loved ones for being here. Have a great night. We'll see you all tomorrow at the wedding. As you can see, Alex opted to have not one, not two, but three maids of honor. In fact, three people isn't enough. There would be a line out this door if we open the floor to anyone wanting to share how much she means to them. Here's to the prettiest, here's to the wittiest, here's the truest of all who are true. Here's to them all in one, here's to you. We love you. As one of Alex's college roommates, I can attest that she was always demonstrating the qualities that anyone could ask for in an amazing partner. I don't know how I got so lucky to have friends. As amazing as you guys making who I am. So thank you. I love you. <laughs> I often wondered how any Duke frat bro could really ever be worthy. It turns out one of them just needed a couple of years. <laughs> Michael is an optimist. He is relentlessly creative in how he thinks and views life. Yeah, that, that was in the credits. That, that was, was in the credits. All of us are here tonight because Michael invests so much care and so much love into his relationships that he really holds all of us to a higher standard. And it's this investment that leads me to Alex. Michael fell in love with Alex very, very quickly. And as soon as he did, he wanted to put everything he had into building that relationship with her. Oh my God, Alex, oh no. Uh-oh. Oh First no. date was Crocodile Lounge, and we're doing some handwriting contests. Like, we were saying, I'm having fun at the Crocodile Lounge and stuff. And I took this piece of paper after the date, and I put it in my back pocket, and we walked home, and I went to my apartment, and I lost the piece of paper, and I freaked out. Flipping my bed covers, I'm opening my dresser, I need to find this paper. That was day one, which shows kind of the feelings I was feeling. 14 cars for 14 special events. Open on our honeymoon, open on our first anniversary, wow. open when we got our first Alex dog. got home that night and she came into my room grinning from ear to ear and she said, this is either going to be great and this guy's going to be my boyfriend or it's going to be a disaster. <laughs> a few weeks later, I felt like this outer being like shoot through my system. It was something told me this is what true love feels like. And from that moment, I knew no matter what happened, I was gonna end up with you. Freaking incredible, holy cow. This is crazy. I am, I am. <laughs> My wish for everybody tonight is that at some point in your life, hopefully more than one, you get a chance to feel the way that Wendy and I do today. Alex was born on July 30th, 1992, and we were ecstatic parents. We had the opportunity to watch her blossom and grow over the years. And she was just an amazing kid. All right. We're doing this. Let's do this. You look awesome. Yeah. Is that grandma's watch? Yeah. Oh my God, that's gorgeous. And someone we were immensely proud of, and that's never stopped. Yeah. 
Michael called us after the first time he got together with Alex. He said he knew this was the one. I knew that she was the one from the way he talked about her. Look amazing. These two are partners in every sense of the term. I love you both. Congratulations. can't tell you how excited we are to have this extended family and to have Don and Diana and all of their family members from the Tringales and the Simons and all of the extended friends that are part of their world to be now a part of our world. We are truly blessed. Meeting you and starting our relationship is probably the scariest thing that has ever happened to me. From the start, you were so freaking certain you knew where our relationship was headed, and it scared the living shit out of me. But at the end of the day, I will never stop being grateful for how annoyingly hard you pushed our relationship, because now it means I get to be here with you, becoming your wife. In the presence of your love. When they walk into the room, and one of them has been away, and the other one walks in, each of them lights up. And that's all you want when you're a father. You want to be able to know that when your daughter is going to go ahead and get married, that she's going to be with somebody who loves and respects her and cares for her as much as her parents do. And I have absolutely no doubt, and I know Wendy feels the same way, that Alex has found that in Michael. Alex, everything changed when I met you in New York. Our journey in the city has been so memorable and amazing. We were young and in love, and then we started to embark on a bit of a deeper journey. I honestly couldn't be happier that you are the most important part of my future, and now that our futures will forever be intertwined. I'm so, so happy and so, so excited to spend the rest of my life with you. I love you to the moon and back. From this day forward, we will greet the new gift of each day, each moment, together. Let us cultivate tenderness, romance, and humor so that our marriage may be a place of comfort, inspiration, and laughter always. Most importantly, when we forget to do all of this, we'll allow ourselves the grace to begin again over and over for the rest of our days. the funny thing about me and Alex is like we both went to Duke like how do we not meet I don't know maybe I was cooler than Alex and now oh my god way cooler than me way smarter than me I feel like Alex you take the cake I'm just kind of here now I know I say this all the time and you either smile or roll your eyes or somewhere in between, but I really would be okay living in a world with only you and me in it. I promise I will try to be as thoughtful as you on birthday and special occasion gifts, but we'll never be able to get there, ever. <laughs> I promise to always stay focused on us and most importantly, focused on you. I'm so, so excited about everything that is happening and really can't wait for what is ahead. I love you. Alex and Michael, you are now husband and wife. I promise to keep choosing the future we dream of together, where one day the dogs will be on our lap and we'll tell our kids, how mom and dad spent years in parallel orbits, walking past each other on the plaza and dancing loudly at the same parties, coexisting but never intersecting, until one day I walked into a bar and there you were, confident and smiling, 
and the rest of my life would never be the same. Michael, I have seen the best of you and the worst of you, and I choose both all day, every day for the rest of our lives together. I love you so much.